Let's get your corner on. Mastering cornering is something that we all want to do and utilizing bike and body separation movements is key to creating traction and balance and so much more. If you aren't familiar with those terms, bike and body separation, maybe head back and watch that video before moving on. And if you are, well, let's learn to turn. So there are a few ways you can learn how to corner, but in this video, I'm just gonna focus on utilizing the outside pedal down technique, which we're going to use that side to side movement we learned in the bike and body separation video, which means when you're going through the corner, the outside of that corner, your pedal will go down to six o'clock. We'll make sure that pedal's flat. <laughs> Let's go. It's always nice to practice in an environment that doesn't scare you. And cones can help you put a corner anywhere you'd like and you can practice anytime you want. When entering a corner, do so in neutral riding position. Once you get into the corner, utilize the outside pedal down technique, allowing the bike to lean through the corner while you stabilize it. Upon the exit, move back into the neutral riding position to help keep traction and balance, getting you ready for your next maneuver. Avoid using the front brake through a corner. However, dragging your rear brake can help control your speed. The more you weight the outside pedal, the more you can lean the bike, while keeping equal pressure with your front and rear wheels too. Look at the next to ultimately help you be prepared for what lies ahead. Here are a few different corners you could apply the outside pedal down approach to. On this berm, using the three movements, neutral in, outside pedal down, separating the bike from the body, then neutral out keeps you in the driver's seat. Even on trail type corners, utilizing these movements will help keep traction and balance, getting you ready for the next trail obstacle. Corners aren't all the same and have more than one approach, yet using the outside pedal down technique is a great one to start with. However, there are more technical corners with tight turns, drops, and even rocks and ruts too. These types of corners are best to use the level pedal technique. You still incorporate those neutral and ready riding positions while doing your best to stay centered over the bike, driving the movements from the feet first to avoid getting too far back or too far forward, making the most of your traction. Oh, I just love cornering. And I hope you will too after watching this video. And remember, there are two pedal positions that you can utilize to create traction and balance while out on the trail, mastering those cornering techniques. So keep practicing. Thanks for watching and happy trails.